Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I have an awesome video for you guys, and that's specifically how to optimize your workflow in Adobe Premiere. Now with my tips and tricks that I'm gonna be showing you guys that not many YouTubers are showing you guys, you're gonna spend less time inside editing and more time outside filming. Because the more and more you guys film, the more you're gonna be having to edit behind the computer and wish on certain days, damn, I wish I could just be outside filming. So with these tips and tricks, I know it's gonna step up your workflow and speed up that process so much. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm Jason Anthony, I'm a full-time content creator. On this channel, I like to teach you guys how to step up your content creating skills, and I focus around the Sony camera system. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing because we have a bunch of great content coming up this year. So let's waste no more time. Let's dive right into Adobe Premiere and we could start getting you guys set up like a pro. All right, so for my first tip, I'm gonna show you how to stack two sequences on top of each other. This way you could drag and drop clips down very fast and pull which ones you want and which ones you don't want. All we have to do is go up to File, New, and then Sequence. We're gonna pick whatever sequence you like to use. I personally like to edit in a 4K timeline. So I'm gonna go right here. And then I'm going to name this one main and then hit OK. Next, I'm going to do the same exact thing. File, new sequence, and then I'm going to name this clips. Hit OK. So now we now we have two different sequences. One is going to be our main edit, hence the word name. The other one's where we're going to be pulling clips from. So what we want to do is take the clips timeline sequence, I'm sorry, the, the clip sequence, and we're going to just drag it right onto this purple bar right here. And now we have stacked up timelines. So what we could do is open up the bin with all the different clips. We can highlight them all and just drag them right here. Hit OK. And now we can just go ahead and edit and pull whatever clips we want onto the bottom timeline. Being that I edit my 1080 120p footage in a 4K timeline, we do have to upscale it. So if we go to scale and hit 200, everything fills up the entire screen. And now we're ready to rock. Now what we could do is we can jump around from the clips and we can say if I want to just have from here, if I just want this beginning section, I could just drag it right down keep existing settings and bam, now on this timeline, everything is set for the setting that I want with the clip that I want. So now what we could do is we could speed up this workflow by just pulling back and forth. Now what I used to do was go to a clip over here, double click, find the one that I wanted, put it in, then put it out and then drag it. And then I have to pull the sound with it. That wasted too much time. By having everything on this type of timeline at the top, it speeds up the workflow so fast. Now, if you guys were wondering how I cut that clip so fast without hitting the C key for the razor tool and then slicing it, we're gonna get into that right now. So let's go ahead and get rid of these sequences. Okay, so we have our two clips and the way I set up my keys is the Z is going to be cutting and the X is gonna ripple delete. It's gonna be super fast. So anywhere I want to go on the timeline, instead of hitting the C key for the razor tool and then cutting, all I do is go ahead, wherever this playhead is, I hit Z and boom, we're cut right away. Now, if I wanna say go to the next clip, and get rid of the tail end of it, if I hit X, it's gone. These two keys will save you so much time, guys, I promise you. Now, let me show you how we set this up. If we go up to Premiere Pro, we go down to Keyboard Shortcuts, all you have to do is type in Ripple, Delete, if I could type, and then you need to click here, and then just hit the X key. That's going to set you up with that. I don't remember what the default keys were on Z and X. I just never used them. So that's why I picked these. For the, the, um, the cut, you actually have to put an add edit. So if you type in add edit, you see my Z key is already set up. I promise you guys use these. It's going to speed up your workflow tremendously. Now for my next tip, we're going to just go over how to bounce around from clips to clips quickly in a timeline. 
So say if I have multiple clips over here, if you use the up and down arrow, you can bounce between the beginning and tail end of each clip. So that is a really nice, very fast way to do it. Another tip is if you hold down shift and then you hit the right arrow, it's gonna jump five frames every time you do that. So sometimes with different presets that I use, like transitions, I have to do like five clips in, five clips out for cuts. I could just hold down shift and use my right or left key and I know that I'm hitting five frames every time I jump along. Now another tip I wanna show you guys is how to get your LUTs inside your Luminetri Color Creative tab. This way you don't have to browse every time. This is gonna speed up your workflow that much more, especially if you guys are using some go-to LUTs. I have a couple custom LUTs that I've designed and those are the ones that you always see in my videos and that's what I always use. So if we go over to the Luminetri Color at the top, we go to the Effect tab, the Creative tab, I'm sorry. You could see that I have tons of different LUTs that don't come with Adobe Premiere. It's super easy to do. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So what you wanna do is find your main Adobe Premiere folder. I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna demonstrate on this. So you're gonna to go to applications and double click on Adobe Premiere. Now what we wanna do is right click the actual Premiere and go to show package contents. What that's going to do is bring up a folder. You're gonna double click on it. You're gonna to go to Luminetri. Gonna go over to LUTs. And then we're gonna to go to Creative. Now, any LUT that you have on a hard drive, on your desktop, all you have to do is drag them and drop them in here. Once you do that, close your Premiere if you already have it open. And when you open it in your Luminetri Color Creative tab, you're now gonna have your LUTs. So now you don't have to go over to browse every time and click on here and look around for it. It's gonna save you so much time because I can't tell you how annoying this used to be until I got all the LUTs that I like to use set up in the creative tab that I could always rely on and always go to. So that wraps up today's quick video on how I like to have my Adobe Premiere optimized for quick editing. Remember guys, the less time you spend editing, the more time you can go out there getting content. If you guys thought this video was helpful, if you learned something new about Adobe Premiere with my tips and tricks, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any tips and tricks for me that you would like for me to know, let me know in the comments below right there. And until next time guys, I'm Jason Anthony. I'll see you soon. Peace.